guys, welcome to the Parrot Bros. Um, today we're going to do a video on exhaust. We're mainly going to be focusing on the downpipe. We're going to be discussing why you need it, what it is, what you get, where to buy it, what companies to buy it from, and all that other great stuff. We'll also touch a little bit on exhaust. Um, so yeah, let's get stuck into it. Okay, so let's talk exhaust. Now, with the 1.8 turbo, they are all about flow. How quick can you get the air in? How quick can you get the air out? Anything you can do to improve that will make a drastic difference on performance. Now, if you're watching this video, you've probably already thought about possibly getting a downpipe and you maybe just wanna know some more information or you're one of our great channel subscribers. Welcome back. Um, so yeah, basically, by increasing the size of the intake or the exhaust um, downpipe, which is the bit that bolts straight to the turbo, um, I'll flag some pictures up now so you can see what it looks like and that basically helps increase the performance so um, tips wise we've already done covered it in some videos but yeah bigger tip like a Badger 5, SFS etc oversized tip gets the maximum airflow it's proven gains um, on the dyno so that is um, guaranteed information it's not just a case of I've heard it is great um, obviously I put it on one of mine as well and it made a massive difference. The other thing is an intercooler, which helps just generate more cool air and cool the air down that you do have in there. Um, and that does make, again, make a big difference. Um, so that's the two sort of on the air side of things. And then on the exhaust side of things, you currently have a downpipe, which is one piece, which then goes into two smaller pipes, um, which does have quite a bit of restriction compared to say a three inch single downpipe because the air doesn't have to break up into two pipes which are a lot narrower admittedly you can add the di diameter of the two pipes together which will then give you an increased diameter but it won't be the three inch so it is a massive restriction also if you choose to you can take the catalytic converter off um, it will not pass an MOT but they do do sports cat options and a lot of people do have a cat made that they can just take in and out when they choose to because obviously on track you don't need a catalytic converter so therefore a little bit more performance now um, the three inch downpipe brands you can get one made custom which will fit perfectly because they will make it to fit on your car at that time um, if you were going to buy one off eBay because you want to buy one and just have it stri swapped straight over rather than having to take it in and get it booked into a garage and get it fitted um, they're about 300 pounds for a good one you can buy cheaper but beware um, I have helped fit and have had fitted cheap eBay specials like 150 pound down pipe and decat and they foul they hit the bulkhead they hit the prop they hit on all sorts of things power steering pipes which is things you do not want to hit I mean if you fit it and it's rubbing apart from the fact that it's going to rub away um, and damage it it's also going to be rubbing on the inside of the car it'll give you horrible vibrations it's it's something you don't want um, so if you're gonna if you're looking to do it buy right buy decent quality the one I recommend not affiliated or anything um, but is the pipe works one P I P E W E R X pipe works um, I'll pop a link down in the description um, and they can be bought from a couple of places but they are the best I have it fitted on mine it fitted straight on we didn't need to move anything the quality is amazing they're made to order so they actually make it on a bench in a jig um, from something that they've already tried and tested. I know hundreds of people that have them and not one person has had an issue. They fit straight up and performance wise, wow. You can seriously tell the difference. They are, it just, it really improves the acceleration. It pulls harder for longer and match with the intake pipe and the cooler. Those three things really, really push you forward. If you're looking for performance, um, I've only got a stage one software map which it made a little bit of difference it was nice um, but it doesn't change your life but it is very nice it does make it a little bit smoother a little bit more peppy on acceleration and uh, it is makes an all nice all sort of a all round nice drive now um, the match that with the pipe works down pipe wow I mean I had everything else done then I fitted the downpipe and I tell you what when I took it for a drive it was night and day it felt like someone had given me an extra 20 horsepower obviously I can't measure horsepower it probably gave me an extra five in real life but it's the the way it it changes the power graph it really helps you 
on acceleration it really helps get rid of all that gas so obviously the more gas you can get in the more gas you can get out happy days um, and it sounds wicked um, you can really notice the difference I'll try and jump across to some sound clips in a minute maybe we'll drop the windows because we're on a nice bit of country road and we'll do a little second gear up. the other thing actually I forgot to mention if it's not too loud is the spool it helps spool the turbo it feels like a lot quicker it feels like you get onto boost a lot quicker um, which is quite nice because these are all about um, if you're on a standard k04 they are quite spooly anyway not quite like the k03 in the 180s because they're quite because it's such a tiny um, turbo it really helps with acceleration but on a k04 every little helps and uh, we're getting onto a main road in a second um, so we'll do a couple of pulls but yeah it is night and day if you're looking to do it now is the time to do it really enjoyable makes a big difference um, on acceleration and performance and if you're going to be doing a couple of track days or whatever it is nice to have that additional power seeing as it's quiet I thought I may as well do it from a stop so this is we'll go through first second and third WSTT, he's made a great fitting video, shows you everything you need to do, you can do it on the floor. It is a reasonably big job, um, we did mine on a ramp, so it was a little bit easier, but we had such a busy weekend I couldn't film it. Um, and it does help if you drop the subframe, anything other than that you will be fighting it. Um, I recommend getting a new gasket for the turbo, it's less than a tenner from a genuine um, downpipe gasket for good to go between the turbo and the downpipe, you can buy them. Um, anywhere I'll put the part number down in the description I got mine from Coverdale car parts um, came really quickly the um, downpipe and cat pipe or decap pipe depending on what you get um, also comes with a gasket from Pipeworks if you buy there so that's already covered um, and then it will couple up to a standard system or a performance system of your choice um, I've got a cat back power flow system which mirrors the same size as the original um, exhaust system diameter wise but it is it's only got one box and it's quite a small box so it does add a little bit but for argument's sake it's probably quite negligible um, let's do another third gear pull. I love third gear in this now there's just no give up it just pulls so hard all the way through tell there is really no restrictions on intake or exhaust there it is so smooth whereas before with the original tip with the original downpipe you really felt like it was kind of on and off where it was just trying to get um, the good flow and it was coming up against restrictions now it it pulls the same if you were to look at a graph it feels like it is just a straight line upwards it just pulls so well um, I wish you could feel it on the video so you can't but what can I do? I'll try and get some sound clips from the outside that I'll jump in the video as well. Um, but it is quite busy today, so I'll see what I can do. Don't forget we've got a playlist now with over 30 videos in, including how to fit a turbo intake pipe, how to fit it in a cooler, all the parts you'll need, and much more. I'll um, put the card up in the corner. Um, and if you click on that, that'll take you straight to the playlist. Loads of great videos and loads more to come. <laughs>
I'd just like to thank everyone for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you've got any questions, as always, jump into the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer any question, um, share any links, or give you any information for you. But do tick that little arrow, or t so tap the little arrow at the bottom. That'll take you through to the description. I'll put all the part numbers for the gaskets. I'll put the link for the downpipe and loads of other great information that might be helpful. So thanks for watching, guys. That's another video from the Parrot Bros. Bye for now.